welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you guys how to make this quick simple and easy soy mint recipe if you are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements will be available for you in the description box below you're also welcome to use some of these techniques to make a mint lasagna so we're going to start off with the white cheese sauce in a pan you're just going to melt some salted butter and then to that you're going to be adding your flour then you're going to make sure that the flour that you've added is evenly coated in the butter mixture and then at this point you can then go ahead and use your cream or milk for this recipe i prefer to use milk but you're also welcome to use cream it just makes it more creamier for me i don't find it to be necessary because i'm still going to be adding some cheese so i've added my milk then i'm going to give it a quick mix you'll notice that as you continue to mix your sauce it will start to thicken your aim is to make sure that you dissolve all of the flour and butter mixture then you can go on ahead and add some black pepper and then also add a little bit of salt only do this part once you have dissolved all of your flour mixture into your milk then you can add your cheddar cheese going to give that a mix just so that you can uh, melt your cheese evenly into your sauce and that is it we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes and this is what the sauce is looking like this is also the consistency that you want to try and have you're going to set it aside while we prepare the filling for our lasagna so this is a soy mint um, lasagna if you have watched my previous soy mint recipe you know that I sift my soy mint and the powdered flour mixture that it comes with and I separate the two so basically I'm going to be using the Imana soy mint and this is what it looks like on the inside so like I said I'm going to be sieving the two packets and separating the flour mixture from the actual soy granules so I'm going to do this process for both packets. I'm going to be using both these packets in my recipe. Okay, once I'm done with that, I'm just going to set this flour mixture aside. If you do want to discard it, you're welcome to do that. Or you can keep it um, and use it for later for flavoring things like your stamp. Okay, now we're going to move over to create the soy filling. In a skillet, you're going to saute some onions. And to that, we're also going to be adding a bay leaf. We're going to saute our onions until they are nice and translucent. Then I'm going to be adding some dried rosemary. You're also welcome to use fresh rosemary if you've got that on hand. And I'm also going to be using some garlic flakes. You're also welcome to use fresh garlic flakes if you've got that on hand. The reason why I use dried um, ingredients is because I don't have to worry about using them by a certain date. Then I'm going to be using um, some paprika. And the paprika is just to enhance the color of our soy mint. Then to that I'm going to be adding the soy mint granules. And in order for us to cook and prepare this, you need to add water. So you'll notice that I'm adding water intermittently. The first amount is a cup, and then I'm going to give that a quick mix. But you'll notice that it starts to thicken, and then I'm going to be adding more water. And I'll continue with this process as I go and as I build on the cooking of my soy. The reason why I don't add a lot of water in the beginning is because I don't want my sauce to be very runny. Then to that, I'm going to be adding some vegetable stock. You're welcome to use whichever stock you prefer. You can also use beef stock if you want to. I just happen to have vegetable stock and that's what I'm using. So we're going to allow our soya to cook for about 15 minutes, adding water as we go just to make sure that it doesn't clump up and become a very thick sauce. You always want to make sure that your sauce is nice and loose but not too runny. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after 15 minutes and you can see what I mean. You don't want it to be too dry, but you also don't want it to be too runny and that is what our soya is looking like. 
then to that I'm going to be adding some tomato paste and lastly I'm going to be adding some Worcestershire sauce just to also enhance the flavor and also deepen the color I'm going to give that a quick mix just to make sure that everything is nice and well um, distributed and then we're going to set that aside and then we're going to start building on our lasagna so that those are the lasagna sheets that I'm using at the base or at the bottom we're going to start off with our white sauce just to make sure that it sticks then we're going to be building it layer by layer by adding um, some soy mints a little bit of the white sauce a little bit of cheese and then you're going to be building it up until you reach the top you can also um, crisscross your lasagna sheets or stack them in whichever way what I found is that the longer your lasagna sits before it cooks the better for your lasagna sheets and I'll expand on that later in the video so we're just going to repeat this process until we reach the top of our baking dish So this is the final layer. What I'm doing here now is I'm just going to be adding the white sauce and I'm going to be spreading it onto all the corners of this dish. And that is very, very important because that is actually creating the seal for your lasagna sheets. Then I'm going to cover it in a foil. My tip for you is if you can prepare this the day before, it would be perfect. But if not, please try and do this process at least two hours before you bake your lasagna. As you can see, I stored mine away for about three hours already my lasagna sheets have started to become a little bit loose which means that they'll bake a little bit easier and they won't be too tough as these were not pre-boiled so now I'm just adding the cheddar cheese on the top you're welcome to be very generous with adding the amount of cheese that you want on top of your lasagna then we're going to be popping this in an oven that was preheated at 180 degrees until our cheese is fully melted through on the top. I know there are some people that like to boil their cheese and make it crispy. You're also welcome to do that. I am now also just adding a little bit of parsley on the top and that is it. A very quick and easy recipe. Simple method to follow. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me. Comment in the comment section. Tell me if you do have soy mints, if you love it, and I will see you guys.